How to Raise Successful People, Simple Lessons for Radical Results by Esther Wojcicki. Introduction, The Secret to Successful Parenting. Whether you have children, are expecting, or are just curious about the habits and practices needed to raise successful people, Esther Wojcicki's book is for you. Many parents today are overwhelmed with the amount of parenting advice they receive. It's hard to know what the best way to raise healthy and happy children is, but it is important to be aware of the influence our parenting can have on our children's future. There are many values we should teach our children, primarily through our own behaviors and the way we interact with them. Respect, trust, grit, kindness, and gratitude are all important values when it comes to parenting. Finally, we should learn to adopt a collaborative style of parenting. This helps us create an appreciation for our children, and it strengthens the connection we have with them. Overall, parents should serve as role models and demonstrate the behaviors and values they want to see. The following notes examine and explain how this can be done. Note 1. Learn valuable parenting lessons from your own parents. Typically, most people raise their own children in a similar way to how they were raised by their parents. However, the problem is that many people did not have the best upbringing. There's often trauma and family challenges that we experience as children. This, clearly, is not the best example to follow. The author shares her own personal childhood experiences. As a young girl, she was raised in a very religious family. She was taught that her brothers, just because they were boys, were more important than her and was often scolded for minor, unnecessary things. Despite her challenging and unhealthy childhood, she was able to effectively raise happy and healthy children. How did she do this, you might ask? She evaluated how her parents raised her and learned from the negativity. She was able to know what parenting techniques she did not want to use for her own children. We can all learn from our parents' mistakes, and the lesson here is to take the things that were positive and effective and discard the ones that were not. Note 2. Teach your children how to trust and give them the respect they deserve. In today's world, trust is steadily declining. In one research study, it was shown that barely half of all people in the United States trust their neighbors. It also showed that only 19% of millennials in the United States believe people to be trustworthy. Clearly, trust is an issue, and it can become an issue with our children if we do not properly teach them. One of the best ways to do this is to trust them. It is very important to show your children that you believe in them and the things that they can do. One way to show your children that you trust them is to allow them to go out on their own and do things without your supervision. If you are constantly micromanaging and hovering over them, then they will feel like they cannot be trusted. This is also a matter of respect. Many parents have strong beliefs about what their children should do with their life. And if their children do not live up to their expectations, the consequences can be hugely negatively impactful. The author provides an example of a guy named Greg. He was personally very interested in art. However, his parents were scientists and strongly believed that Greg should follow in their footsteps. They forced him to focus on science by taking extra classes. As a result, he had little time for art, and he became socially withdrawn and depressed. As parents, we should respect the decisions our children make for themselves. We should want them to do something that makes them happy rather than something that simply makes us happy. Researchers suggest that the pressure children feel from their parents to follow a specific path is a primary reason adolescents commit suicide. These adolescents end up feeling trapped in a life they are not happy with. When we do not respect our children, they end up resenting us, and we not only destroy the relationship we have with them, but also damage their sense of self. Allow your children to decide for themselves how they want to live their lives, and show respect for the things they want to do with them. Note 3. Reward your children for their dedication and effort. Achieving our goals is not easy or fast. It takes a lot of patience, hard work, and dedication. Therefore, it is very important for us to teach our children to value and demonstrate grit. In other words, we need to teach them to not give up and to stay focused. To instill the value of grit, we should raise them to have a growth outlook on life. By doing this, we let them know that they can work hard to improve themselves and their skills. A growth outlook teaches children that they can work to achieve anything if they stay determined. Note 4. Use a collaborative parenting style. There's often a lot of debate as to how much parental control leads to effective parenting. 
Most psychologists identify the authoritative parenting style as the most effective style of parenting. This involves being firm but maintaining positivity and openness for two-way communication. However, the author suggests a new, possibly more effective parenting style, one of collaboration. This parenting style involves working with children rather than using your authority over them. For example, instead of telling your children to do something, talk with your children and make a decision together. This takes away the labor-slash-worker feeling from the children and allows them to feel appreciated. Note 5. Teach your children how to have a kind and gracious heart. Research has shown that the value and demonstration of kindness has significantly decreased, especially in young people. The author suggests that one reason is because of a helicopter parenting style. These parents are those that micromanage and hover over their children all the time. Helicopter parents scrutinize nearly everything about their children, from grades to life goals. When asked, many parents will report caring about how successful their children are rather than how kind they are. Kindness and gratitude are teachable values. Gratitude is about recognizing and being thankful for others in your life and how they have helped you. Kindness and gratitude are important values because they benefit your children and the people around them. Children observe their parents' behaviors, even when their parents do not realize it. Therefore, it is very important to lead by example. Teach your children how to be appreciative and say thank you for things, even if they're small, seemingly unimportant items. Another way to teach these values is to have your children write down all the things that they're thankful for on a regular basis. Teaching our children gratitude and kindness allows them to be appreciative for the things they have and experience in life. Note 6. Conclusion. If we want to raise successful people, it is important that we break away from the negative parenting styles we experienced and focus only on the positive ones. We are so overwhelmed by the amount of advice and preconceived notions of good parenting that we tend to micromanage our children rather than collaborate with them. Further, we should teach our children about grit, trust, kindness, respect, and gratitude. By following the author's simple strategies to better parenting, we can not only build better relationships, but also raise happy, secure, kind, and confident children.